So there are different different ways to go about this question. Generally, I try to be careful, meaning I don't want to make mistakes, especially if you look at the answer choices, they're just off by a decimal place. So I might write this as 1 over 10 to the 5, just being conservative here, and 2 over 10 to the 3. Here I'm going to factor out a 10 to the 4, so we'll get 10 plus 1. And you'll note if you remultiply, you will get back to that. So we have 11. 10 to the 4, and then I'm going to multiply each term by 10 to the 4. So again, as I said, it just depends uh, your personal preference. Sometimes I like to be able to clearly see what's happening. In fact, I don't even like to do these problems using calculators because I'm always afraid of punching the wrong things. And that becomes 1 tenth, so we have 1 tenth plus 3, plus 20, times 11. So that's 23.1 times 11. And you'll see approximately this is 23 times 10, or about 230. So since the answer choices are order of 10, you can immediately see that that answer is going to be 254.1. You can certainly do the multiplication as well, either by hand or calculator. Uh, it's a matter of personal preference. And we do indeed get 254.1, which is choice C.